name is Chef Citra. Culinary is part of the culture, and as a chef, I have opportunity to showcase my culture through the art of food. Gastronomy is an essential part of diplomacy, as it plays a significant role in relationships. I will visit and meet ambassadors of the foreign countries who are directly engaged in soft diplomacy and play important roles to promote cultural exchange through culinary diplomacy. I will ask them to unveil the traditional culinary of their country, which worth sharing to the rest of the world. The Chef Ambassador, a program of cultural diplomacy, a gastro diplomacy. I'm Chef Chitra and welcome to the Chef Ambassador. It's a program where you can experience about cuisine and culture heritage from the ambassador itself. Currently, I am in the front of Mexico or Mexican ambassador and I will learn all about their heritage directly from His Excellency Mr. Armando Alvarez. Let's go in. I am in the front of residence of the Mexican Embassy, Mr. Armando Alvarez. So let's go in. Hola! <laughs> Buenos dias! Buenos dias! ¿Cómo estás? Mucho gusto! in Mexico, this is your house. Am I pronouncing it right? You are pronouncing it perfectly. Oh my god, thank, thank you so much for having me. On the contrary, it's a great honor to have you here and see you. <laughs> thank you, it's amazing. <laughs> thank you. Can you sit down? Gracias. On the contrary. Indeed, uh, we are living uh, difficult, difficult times, not only in Indonesia, also in Mexico and, and the rest of the world. And that is why it is very important to, to observe the, the instructions and indications of the Indonesian sanitary authorities to keep healthy and to keep uh, others healthy. I agree. Well, I'm also aware that soon that you will celebrate your national day. <laughs> Can you elaborate more about it? Yes, of course. Uh, in, in a few more days, on the uh, 16th of September, September, we Mexicans will celebrate our uh, national day. We celebrate the beginning of the struggle for our national independence. That happened uh, back in 1810 in a small town in central Mexico named Dolores, where, where a priest, a Catholic priest named Miguel Hidalgo, and on a Sunday morning, uh, 16th of September, called the, the, the people to, to, to a mass 
and once they <coughs> were there, he, he invited them to uh, initiate the struggle against the oppression and for national independence. That, that movement started there, there, and it was a long, a long struggle. Uh, it lasted for 11 years and 11 days. And the Mexican independence was finally achieved on the 17th of September of uh, uh, 1821. So 11, 11 years and 11 okay. days later. Viva Mexico! Viva! Uh, <clears throat> to celebrate the, our national independence, every year the President of the Republic from the central balcony of the National Palace, palace rings the same bell as Father, as Father Hidalgo. Every single year, the same bell. The same bell, exactly the same bell as Father Hidalgo. And he, he uh, uh, evocates the, uh, the uh, uh, speech given by, by priest Hidalgo. And all the people cheer and, and, and say, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico. Long life, long life Mexico. Viva and Mexico. Viva, Viva Mexico. Mexico. Long Viva life Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> and, then, and then you have uh, uh, the lights and the celebration, the music, celebration. And, and, and a street festival. Uh, the same thing happens not only in Mexico City, but also in every state capital, like province here, in every yeah. state capital, in every municipality, and abroad, in every embassy or consulate abroad. <clears throat> we, we used to have uh, the same celebration here until, until this pandemic began. <laughs> And, and we had just, right? we had a very nice celebration here with a, with a, a lot of a lot of people, up to 500 people in, in, in all the house, with a special invitees from the from the Indonesian <coughs> government, and from from the people from arts, government, businesses, etc., friends of Mexico. Unfortunately, last last year and this year will not be not be possible to, to do it. But fortunately, uh, if we cannot bring uh, uh, Indonesian people to the residents of Mexico, we can go to the houses of the Indonesian people through, through your program, through your, through your kind conduct, oh. uh, and, uh, and uh, show them uh, one of the things we are, one of the aspects of our culture that we are very proud, which is Mexican gastronomy. Well, speaking about uh, the gastronomy itself, Mexican gastronomy, I know that we have a little bit of similarity with Indonesian gastronomy, and I'm very, very intrigued to know more and deeper about it, because personally, I love Mexican food. Okay, I okay. Really, really love. I, I also love Indonesian food, and let me tell you something: <clears throat> we Mexicans and Indonesians have a lot of things in common. We have, despite being uh, geographical antipodes, we are 12 hours. There's, there's 12 hours difference between Mexico City and Jakarta. Despite that distance, that huge distance, we have an amazing collection of similarities between between uh, our nations. We both are multi-ethnic, multicultural, yes. diverse countries, proud of, of their diversity, proud of their yes. culture, proud of their, their millenary, <coughs> millenary origins. And, and of course, within that culture, a very special place is, is occupied by, by gastronomy. Uh, so we, we Mexican diplomats have a, uh, something that we call gastro diplomacy. We, we use, we use uh, cuisine as part of, of uh, to show off uh, our, our national, national culture. Mexico, like Indonesia, is a mega diverse country. Yes. You know, there are only 16 countries that have been named as mega diverse countries. Indonesia is one of them. Mexico is another one of them. Mexico has 12% of all uh, the biodiversity of, 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 the of the globe, of the world, and that biodiversity is, along with the culture, is reflected into, into the gastronomy. That is, sounds amazing, and knowing that we have this kind of closure and similarity. <coughs> exactly. I'm very, very much interested. Um, um, among them is the, is the, is the, uh, that the, the we both like spicy food. I mean, <laughs> you will see those uh, Indonesian ingredients into the Mexican food. As, as well as you can find 
Mexican products in, in the Indonesian supermarkets. When you, when you see a jalapeno, jalapeno pepper here, or when you see an avocado, because you know, finally avocado is a, is a Mexican, <coughs> Mexican product, a tomato, Tomato is originally from Mexico, avocado is from Mexico, corn is from Mexico, chia is from Mexico, papaya is from Mexico. Uh, <coughs> there are lots and lots of products uh, the, 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 from Mexico that came to Indonesia, and many products that, that came from Indonesia to Mexico. For this, for this diversity, in uh, 2010, the UNESCO, you know the UNESCO is the, uh, the UN uh, Agency for uh, Education, Science and Culture. The UNESCO named the Mexican cuisine as intangible cultural heritage of the, of the humankind. That was back in, in 2010. And it was the first national cuisine ever declared by UNESCO as intangible uh, cultural uh, the heritage of, of the humanity. All right, Mr. Alvarez, it's an amazing story. And I just cannot wait to try the Mexican cuisine itself. OK, OK, let's go. We are going to have, today we're going to have one, one soup, Aztec soup, <coughs> one main dish, which is called tinga poblana, accompanied with some side dishes. One, one dessert, one appetizer, and two soft drinks. Uh, wow. In the kitchen, I can explain more to you. All right, let's go. Gonna win. Okay. Let's go. Please. Thank you. Gastronomy is an essential part of our culture. I am a diplomat and love cooking, as it is also part of our diplomacy, gastro diplomacy. We will bring Mexico to everybody's house by sharing some recipes of our delicious cuisine. All right, we are already at the kitchen of Mr. Alvarez and he already showed me a little bit of the magic, but I'll let you take over the kitchen. Okay, are you, are you ready to prepare an Aztec soup? Yes, I'm okay. ready. I'm okay, so okay, let's prepare the Aztec soup. You know, we call it Aztec soup because <clears throat> most of the ingredients of the, of the soup come from pre-Colombian, from pre-European Mexico. That is the case of the tortilla, which is, which is a, a corn, is, is, is an, a Mexican product. Yeah. The chilies are a Mexican product. Tomato is from Mexico, originally from Mexico as well. Avocado <clears throat> as well. I love avocado. As, as I say to you, we incorporated products from other parts of the, of the world. Cheese and cream come from, came from Europe. Chicken came from Europe. Uh, some, uh, <laughs> this came from Asia. From, from, yeah. from, from, from Indonesia, some, some, some condiments like, like coriander yeah. <laughs> came from. So <clears throat> it is a Mexican cuisine, it's, it's a mixture of many cuisines. Now, but to prepare the, the, the soup, we need first to prepare a... Um, the onion? <clears throat> well, no, like, like a, a sauce, like a sauce. sauce. You, you, you chop, chop oh, the... That, okay. I can have that. Okay, okay, you can do it. Okay, okay please. <laughs> That's my job. Yes. Okay. You want me to cut very, very, it? Um, it's in small pieces. Why is it diced? In dices, in dices. Okay. You want to with, with the seeds or? Or with the seeds or that, 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 that's, that, that's enough. And then that's enough. And then do, this, do the same with the, the... garlic? The onions? With the onion and the garlic. Okay. <coughs> so you want it to be diced, yeah? Okay. I love the smell already. Perfect. Now, now the onion and. Oh, just slice or not? <coughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay like okay. that. It's okay. It's okay like this. this then much? the onion and the garlic. Also chop, chop them, please. Oh sure. Very good. Oh, you're an expert. You're an expert. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's, I have to, otherwise okay. now, I get fired. Now, now the garlic. <coughs> the garlic as well. This is more onions, yeah? I really mm -hmm. love onions. More onion. More onions. More fragrance. Some garlic. Onion. Chopped garlic as well. Okay. Now, <coughs> you put everything into the blender. Into the blender. Into the blender along with some uh, salt 
and pepper. pepper. Salt, pepper, put it to the blender, yes, and you yes. prepare a, a sauce, a, a red sauce. It's a red sauce. When you have the red sauce, you, you fry the sauce in a pan. Yeah. You put it in a pan with some oil, oil. and fry the sauce. Yes. Fry the sauce, that's why it's good. Seasoning. <laughs> and, 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 and the product is this one here. This is, this is the product of what, what you are doing. It's a, it's a very nice and <clears throat> delicious mm -hmm. And, and so smelly, good. and smelly, smelly uh, broth, <coughs> uh, because you 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 mix it with uh, the chicken broth. Chicken, chicken, broth. chicken broth. You boil boil the chicken, separate the chicken from <coughs> from the broth. You mix the broth with the sauce, mm -hmm. and then you have this. This is the product of the sauce with the chicken broth. Okay. Amazing. With the chicken broth, and then you put it to boil. You put it to boil. Uh, okay. <coughs> And then to serve it, you can you can take a, you can put All some the some, some to, first some tortilla strips in here, some some tortilla strips, then some shredded chicken. Yes. Shredded chicken. Okay. And the chili. <coughs> Later. You, you first you put the, the you put the oh, it <laughs> it's good it's so good. good it's very good it's very good this is to warm the body it's almost like a grandma soup this is very very nutritious from it is it is one more and that's it High now it comes the, the best part of it. You have to, to prepare it with some dried dried and fried chili. Dried and fried chili in here. Yes. Maybe it's too much. But it's okay. I, 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 love, I love chili. <laughs> like it's, that. It's fine. Now you put some Guac? aguacate or, or, or avocado. Yes. Could be local avocado or imported avocado. It's the same. Some avocado. <coughs> then you put some cream yes on top some cream and then you put some cheese. some shredded cheese this is already looking like mm -hmm. a restaurant cuisine and like this is burger this is this is the, this is the final product Ooh, this is the yes. this is the Aztec soup I can eat you will try soup. it later and oh. you will see that it's delicious so there you go our first menu the Aztec soup by the chef ambassador right. it's amazing it smells amazing so is this the only one that we're gonna cook today no of course not I have a second dish which is called tinga tinga poblana oh that's amazing so shall we go to the next cuisine let's tinga go there poblana. let's go then Still at the Chef Ambassador and still with me, Mr. Alvarez, presenting his heritage cuisine. And we already made the previous one, which is uh, Aztec soup. It smells amazing, and I just cannot wait to try. And right now, in front of me, there's an ingredients for the second menu. The name is Tinga Poblano. That's right. That's right. Tinga Poblano. Can you explain to me what is the ingredients here? It looks also amazing. Okay, before I go to the ingredients, let me tell you a little bit about <coughs> the origin of this of this dish. Yes. It's called Tinga Poblana because it comes from the, the state of Puebla. The state of Puebla is some 200 kilometers uh, east of, uh, of Mexico City on the way to the Atlantic coast, to, oh. to, to Veracruz in the Atlantic coast. Uh, <coughs> uh, Tinga Poblana originated there, but it's very popular all over all over Central Mexico, including including the states that surround surround Mexico City. It is often uh, used uh, for for a, a daily dish, but it's also used for for weddings or for special occasions, along with some with some other side dishes. Now, <coughs> let's go to the to the ingredients. The main two ingredients of uh, Tinga Poblana are onion. A lot of onion, a lot of onion, and uh, uh, beef skirt, pulled pulled beef skirt. So the first thing you have to do is boil the uh, the beef, uh, 
pull it, or pull it apart. With, we're using two, two spoons, two spoons, or, or your own fingers, <coughs> and then you, you, you have already the this, this skirt in here. Secondly, <coughs> you have to prepare a sauce with tomato, with uh, garlic, and with bay leaves. You, you put it in the blender, <coughs> you fry in the sauce, and, and then separately you put uh, the onion to fry. Mm -hmm. To fry the onion un until it's, it's, brown. Uh, it's brown. It's brown. <coughs> and then you incorporate the onion into the, into the sauce, and the outcome is this. You have, you have uh, the onion, the onion, and the... I love onion. Mm -hmm. Just <coughs> like that. Huh? Let, let's Amazing. get started. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, then you have the, <coughs> the onion. With the with the sauce in here, mm -hmm. and then you put you put the meat, you, you put the you side. put the meat on top, and, and let it cook. <coughs> you, incorporate you, you, all you incorporate all the ingredients, let, let it cook in, for to boil some five to ten minutes, five to ten minutes, and then you when when it is ready, you can serve it in a <coughs> in a plate with some side dishes. In this case. The side dishes are rice, Mexican style rice, mm -hmm. and some fried beans with, with some cheese. Mm -hmm. So the, the, final, the final outcome is the one that you can see here. You can put more here if you want. Yes. Uh -huh. Put some more. Okay. I love the onions. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's very this good. is gonna be my it's your favorite. Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can present it to the to the people. So it's actually it's almost the same like Indonesian. We eat rice salsa. So Mexican are very familiar with the rice, I, I, I assume, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is smells already good and I just cannot wait to try it. Well, there you go. This is Tina Poblano, a la Chef Ambassador, Mr. Alvarez right. himself. <laughs> Thank you so much for making this. So we already made two dishes. This one is Tinga Poblano and the previous one was the Aztec soup, which is, looks amazing and I just cannot wait to try it for my lunch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chef Chitra on the Chef Ambassador and joining with us is our novel Madame Gladys. Thank, Thank you, you so much and also Mr. Alvarez, Mrs. Liz and also Miss Afi. Thank you so much for having me here. It's such a warm welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> and right in front of us this is the moment of truth and the moment that I've been waiting for. <laughs> the Aztec soup that we made earlier in the kitchen. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So we're just gonna wait to try. Bon appetit. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. How do you say in Spanish? Buen provecho. Bon. Buen provecho. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's try. The black one is the chili that mm. I like it. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. It is very good. Mm. Yeah. So how do you say madam? He's a very good chef. Yes, he is. No. <laughs> sometimes, yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. But the woman always rules, right? Woman always wins. Yes. Always. Oh, always, of always. <laughs> always. Always. Mm. I love the worm. I love the tomatoes. And I love the combination between the avocado and the soup. And also the crunchiness yes. of the tortilla. Yes. It's, it's a thick soup, but the, I mean it's, it's not light soup, it's mm -hmm. thick, but the, the flavor is very good. Alright, so in, in front of us, this is our second dish that we made with Mr. Alvarez. This is Tinga Poblano. That's yes. correct. I'm always afraid to, spell, to say it wrongly. No, they're doing well. <laughs> this also looks amazing. 
and I just cannot wait to try. Is there any special story behind this? Why do you know the story about the tikka? Well, it's, it is. It is. Thank you. Well, it's not, not, not a special story, but it comes from the state of Puebla. Puebla is one of the regions um, uh, that have given more more uh, uh, fame to the Mexican to the Mexican uh, cuisine. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, different regions like like Puebla, like Yucatan, like Veracruz, like like Oaxaca. But Puebla is uh, certainly one of them that includes uh, this dish, which is called tinga poblana. Includes also the mole. I, I told you about the mole. Mole is a thick, yeah. spicy sauce, also from the state of Puebla. So uh, <coughs> this is a favorite uh, from, from Puebla, but uh, it is it is uh, enjoyed all, all over central Mexico. I also adore this dish. It's amazing, <laughs> and also I sense a very strong spice inside the shredded meat. It's a little bit, a little bit strong, which is actually is very delightful for me. It's very, very amazing. It's spicy. It's well, not it's spicy not. for me, well, but in Indonesia you eat a lot of chili. I know, I know. <laughs> and also, I'm also very interested with these two drinks in front of me. Like um, this one, I know it's from mm -hmm. Rosella, mm -hmm. and this one. From the rice, yes. Exactly. Like, do we have any rules or which one which that we have to drink first? No, it's no. It's according to your preference or both. <coughs> or maybe, which one? maybe, maybe first the rosella because it's less sweet, okay. and then this one because it's, it's more sweet. Otherwise, it won't taste. So start start with the with the rosella, okay, and finish with okay. the salute. 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 Mm. Oh it's like like a little, little little acid and sweet. That's very good. It's very good for. It. It's like it's balancing everything, you know. <laughs> like we have a little bit strong spiciness here, and then the freshness of the tea of the roasted tea itself. Yes, it's, it's very fresh. It's very very refreshing. Anyway, I am very pleased. I'm very very thankful for this occasion and this opportunity to meet you one on one with everyone on this table. It's been amazing. It's just like a little journey to discover on each country. And you know, during this pandemic, we have so many limitations, but thank you so much for welcoming me, welcoming us, and serve up with this amazing, amazing cuisine. It cannot be better than from the best source itself. So I want to very, very thankful for this, for this opportunity. This is so amazing. And I hope with this, the relationship between two countries it will be very fruitful and also very prosper in the next future. So yes. thank you so much. Salute again. Yes. Salute. <laughs> Salute. 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 Thank you. Thank, thank you very you much so for, for coming here. As we say in Mexico, this is your house. You can come with, with your colleagues whenever you want. And, uh, and uh, Cheers for the for, cheers. for, for your it's personal very, very health warm. and for the friendship between Mexico and Indonesia. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. It was a very beautiful and enchanting experience that I had with Mexico Ambassador Mr. Armando Alvarez himself. I'm Chef Chitra signing up from the Chef Ambassador. I'll see you on the next episode. Ciao.